Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I am your host Mr. Munchies and today I would like to show you how I make my four bean chili. Now let me start off by saying I like my food with a bit of spice, heat in it. Um, some people don't and when they ask me well how hot is it? It's kind of hard to say because what might be spicy for one person might not be for another and might be too spicy for somebody else, this and that. So I always kind of use Tabasco sauce as a gauge for how hot things are. If Tabasco sauce is too hot for you, then this is going to be too hot for you. If it's not hot enough, you may need to add a little more. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let me get into it here. Uh, this is my four bean chili. So what I start out with is I have one pound of ground beef that I've cooked and drained. I have four links of spicy Italian sausage. Now you can substitute sweet Italian for this if you think this is going to be too hot for you. So that's been cooked. Uh, I took it out of the case, cooked it down, and it's, uh, I guess what you call crumbles there. And then in this pot, I have some chorizo. This is not chorizo links. Let's see if we get a close up of that. There we go. Uh, it's the chorizo that comes in a tube. Okay. This is um, the pork chorizo. All right. So I've got all this. The, all the meats already cooked down. So I'm going to start combining the things together. First, I'm going to add my ground beef to the chorizo. Get my heat back on here. About medium heat. Ground beef, uh, Italian sausage. Get that mixed together. So we have our three meats here ground beef, chorizo, and Italian sausage. Okay, two cans. 15 ounce tomato sauce. And then for our beans, I have a can of chili beans. Don't drain the juice off, you keep the juice in there. A can of black beans. A can of dark red kidney beans. And a can of black eyed peas. Okay, those are all in there together. Get that mixed up. Now, between the Italian sausage and the chorizo, it's already got a little bit of bite to it. But I'm going to go a little bit further and add some chopped jalapenos to this. These are just the ones out of the jar. Because that adds not only a little extra heat, but some flavor as well. Get that stirred in. And to that, the final ingredient is some chili seasoning. Um, I use the chili seasoning in the pack because it's consistent. I could throw my own seasonings in there, you know, chili powder or whatever. Um, but when I find something that I like, I try to make it exactly the same way each time, unless it's one of those recipes where I like to change it up every time. But to chili, I like it the same way every time, so I, the stuff in the bag is consistent. So I'm going to add two packs of the chili seasoning to that. And 
and stir that in. And that's pretty much it. Get a close up of this here. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so like I said, um, you know, if you're not into the hot and spicy stuff, you could substitute the uh, Italian sausage, you know, the hot Italian sausage for sweet. Um, the chorizo, like I said, it has some spice to it. They don't, not as far as I know, make any kind of mild, but that really adds to the taste of the chili. And then you can forego the jalapenos, and if you want it hotter, you can add some more hot stuff to it. Instead of jalapenos, maybe you can use some habaneros. But, uh, you know, this is ready to go. Uh, I like to let it cook down for, you know, a few hours, let it simmer. Um, actually, the next day, everything's always better the next day. So, uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. You can leave your... Uh, comments in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as soon as possible. But um, that's it. So that's it for another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I'm your host, Mr. Munchie. So play it up and chow down. <laughs>